What's going on, everybody? This is the objective jerk, or the objective pessimist, the objective loss for words, whatever. How you guys doing? I'm uh, actually got a little bit of a cold, so I'm gonna be making phlegm sinus noises more than normal. Um, and you might be like, "Well, dude, why even record a podcast?" Well, it's because I'm stupid. All right. So there. Anyway. Um. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody is voting because in most states now you can vote. Like it's opened up so you can vote. So get out there and vote. Um, I voted online because I have to. Absentee ballot. So who knows if it actually went through. Um, I'm sure it did. But, you know, stranger things have happened, right? Um... Let's see, what am I doing? So I'm recording this a little early because that's how I do my podcast. It's when I don't, I used to schedule stuff, be like, oh, today I got to record a podcast. But then I was like, sometimes they were, well, how I felt. I mean, they're all shit, right? But I would look at them as not good or whatever. So now I just, when I'm in the mood to talk, that's when I record. So here I am. Um, so, but I have... I've used up all my available space for this month for my podcast platform. So I got to wait like another five days or something. And I use the information that the AI in my podcast platform, Buzzsprout, generates. And it creates the, gives me some ideas for titles and it makes the description and everything. So, and I use that for when I post my videos, so I gotta, you know, I can, I can post this video if I want to, but then I'd have to, I'd actually have to do some work, and I don't want to do that. So I gotta wait for my podcast, and I could upgrade it to get more space, but I usually don't use this much, so. But, so this is actually October 26th for me, so, and this will get posted on the 31st or the 1st of November or something. Um, cause you know, I'm here a little early, so it's kind of weird the way it works, but cause I live in the future, but so yeah, so that's what's going on. But I just kind of wanted to talk, cause a lot of reflection. I'm going to take off my glasses. I actually don't really need them, I guess. Um, but there's, like I said, the voting's going on and all signs are saying Trump's going to win. You know, all the poll, which, you know, obviously they don't mean anything, but all the polls, all the betting, whatever, just everything is, it's all Trump, right? So, um, the thing is, is like, I'm a little worried for America. I mean, not everybody, not everywhere, but it's going to get a little hairy in the States after the election, regardless of who wins, you know? Um, because if Trump wins, which it's looking like he's gonna, then you're going to have another summer of love, but this time it's going to be the fall season of love and stuff's going to, there's going to be riots and burning and all kinds of crap. And Antifa is going to come out of nowhere and just watch. It's going to happen. I hope it doesn't. I'll be surprised if it doesn't, but I hope it doesn't, but it's kind of sadly. Um, so there's that, right? And then if it's the other way and Kamala somehow magically wins, then I think like January 6th was not anything. Yes. People were protesting and whatever, did some some people trespass or whatever yeah but i mean it's not the left tries to make january 6 out to be this huge thing and it wasn't you know it's it was like yeah it's kind of lame you know i wish some people didn't do that but it happened but it's it's dude it's, it was nothing it was it was it was a nothing burger you know what i mean um It's just, the left just totally embellishes what went on there. And it's just like, and it's almost to the point of being annoying. You know, it happened and 
everybody on the right was like, oh, yeah, that's not cool. Um, but then also, it wasn't all just the right, though. There were people there. There was that guy. What was his name? I forget. I guess he finally got arrested or whatever, but I think that was just for show. Or he was charged or something. Damn, what was his name? The guy that was all armied out, Trump hat, and we need to go. Let's go. You know, trying to get everything, everybody riled up and stuff. And then when shit started hitting the fan, it was like, where'd he go? Just disappeared. Crazy. Um, but like I said, if, if Kamala wins with, with the way things are looking where it's like, dude, Trump's got it. I mean, even CNN, everybody's saying, oh shit, you know, the people on the left are like, oh my God, we're going to have Trump. And the people on the right are like, yeah. So, I mean, everything is pointing towards Trump. And if magically Harris wins, there's going to be a legitimate uprising from the right. Like they're going to be like, no. No. He, she did not win. She, there's no way she won. There's just no possible way. It's, just, it's not going to happen. Will the left, will a Democrat win the next election? Possibly. It's not going to be Harris, but possibly. But no, the, the left has screwed up. The Democrats have screwed up so bad that even a lot of left people are, are voting for Trump. Or they're not voting, you know. And a lot of swings are voting for Trump. And all the BS that they try and say, oh my God, things were... God, you see some people just like, oh my God, it's good. it's going to be so bad. It's like, was it so bad, those four years that Trump was in? Uh, no, it was awesome. What was bad? Nothing. They're just, they're trying to play off everybody's emotions and stuff. So, and yes, people will be like, oh my gosh... Opie, objective jerk. You see so much conspiracy and everything. It's like, um, I see conspiracy in more things than a lot of people. Um, but there are people that see a conspiracy in everything. I see it in a lot of things. And I always say, it's better to see a conspiracy in a lot of things than not to see it at all. You know what I mean? You got to question some things. If something doesn't look right, even though it's on your side... That's the problem is people, they might be like, whoa, that is weird, but it favors their side. So they're like, yeah, all right. It's like, dude, that's just ingenuine and unhonest. It's just, dude, come on. If it's garbage, whichever side of the aisle it's on, it's garbage and you should not condone it. You know, it's just insane. Um... So, yeah, so that's just whatever. But it happens, and it happened in the last election. You know, there were places that, and they were all, they were all um, battleground states. They weren't, you know, Texas, or they weren't, you know, California, or whatever. It was the battleground states, and they were trying to, there was a lot of shady stuff going on with the voting, you had people covering up the windows so people couldn't see. Can't do that. You have to be able to see that they're doing. And then there was, they didn't have both sides of the aisle there. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks again for listening to The Objective Jerk. I greatly appreciate it. If you could uh, like, subscribe, comment on wherever you're finding this. And you can also email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. So, hope you're enjoying it, and please continue on with the episode. <laughs> there was video of people taking, like, when everybody's gone all of a sudden, and then they're taking these trunks out of underneath the table. When there was trunks on the side already that haven't been counted that are there and present and then all of a sudden they're taking this oh look at this here oh geez biden got all these votes suddenly crazy so there was definitely some fraud voting going on in the last election did it really make the difference of trump losing i don't know honestly 
even if those, I mean, there was, you know, there's a few hundred thousand votes or whatever, but I don't think it was that close. Maybe it was. I don't know. I'd have to look again. Um, but that's the thing is like, that's not going to matter if, if, if you get out and vote, if, if Trump wins in an absolute landslide, there's no way that they can fudge the numbers. They're like, oh shit, he won. And, uh, that's the way it's looking. So you look at the rallies, you look at everything, you look at, you look at the, the, the conference, the press conferences or the, the, the town halls and everything. And Trump kills everything. He kills it all. He's going to be on Joe Rogan. He's probably recording it right now as I'm talking or it just got done. And that's it, dude. He, he, he's got it. And then Harris didn't do the Joe Rogan. Oh, because, uh, it just didn't work with our schedule. What else are you doing right now? It's the largest podcast out there. You're going to get more ears on Joe Rogan than almost anything in, at one single whatever, and they don't want to do it. It's because Kamala's an idiot. She's a moron. She has no clue what she's doing or saying. She's a puppet. They're telling her what to say. It's just like in, have you ever taken like a speech class? When they're like, here you go, you need to talk about this. And it's like some subject that I don't know anything about. And I'm like, um, yeah, so I think, um, you know, sheep should not get, uh, you know, they shouldn't be on a farm because, you know, you don't know. You can't say it because it's not, you're not knowledgeable in it. The only um, speeches or training or whatever when I had to get up in front of somebody and explain something or talk about something, the only ones I did good in were ones that I was knowledgeable about. I knew the information. I could answer questions. And she can't do that. So what does that tell you? She doesn't know shit. All she does is make these weird word cross puzzle jumble word salad crap where you're like, what? And blames everything on Trump. She can't even be like, yeah, you know, we didn't do a great job with that. And we see that now. We had, you know, it wouldn't have been hard to say, look, we Democrats, we are much more, um, I don't know, grounded in, in the lives and we have more empathy for individuals, you know, blah, 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 than, than the right. You know, we care. We care more. And so we thought that having these immigration policies was a caring thing and we thought it would do good and it would help some people, which it did. But then some bad things happened and it wasn't done quite correct. And we get that. We understand that. That is our fault. But... If I'm elected, I'm going to fix those problems and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? There's a way to do it. And that's the thing is like the left has always kind of been more. The left is like, you know, the mom that's just like, you know, when the kid like freaks out and throws a tantrum, they're like, oh, dear, you shouldn't do that. No, you shouldn't. Fuck you, mom. <laughs> Honey, you shouldn't do that. That's, that's not nice. You know, that's the left. And then the right is the dad. It's like, what? What'd you say? What? Yeah, get in your room and clean it. You know, that's kind of an analogy. <laughs> right and the left. But uh, I'm trying not to make those sounds because I listen to my podcast and I hear me going, <laughs> sound like a pig. But... It's just, uh, man, where was I talking about? I went off on a complete, I was talking about how they suck. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, Harris just, she is not capable of, she's not capable of speeches and, and public speaking and anything like that. Does that mean she'd be a bad president? No, not necessarily. Because Trump is not the greatest, really. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he's not, he's not the greatest either, you know? And we knew that from the right side, you know, when he ran originally, it was like, ugh, ugh. he said, what? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, uh. But I voted, but then he had four years of awesomeness. So it's like, you know what? That's what matters more so 
than the way he speaks. And the thing is, is he don't take no shit either, man. And you know, both, both sides make up crap and embellish crap. I get it. I hate politicians. I hate politics. You may be like, what? Are you on crack? I wish. I wish I was on crack. But no, sadly, I'm not. Um, but I hate politicians. Even like here, like I have more, well, I don't. But I have the ability to interact with local politicians much easier around here. And I just don't because I, I, I don't like politicians because they're all snakes. They're all, I hate politicians. You know, they're, they're the very bottom. And then you got lawyers and whatever, so on and so forth. But that's why I liked Trump because he wasn't a politician. I mean, maybe he is kind of now, obviously, because he's been in politics, he's been president, so he consider him a politician, but he wasn't a politician, so he, you know, and he don't, he's going to do what he thinks is right, whether it's really right or not, it's what he thinks is right. It's not what somebody's telling him he should do. People are advising him, but he's like, nah, fuck that, we're doing this. Kamal Harris is just like, this is what you're going to do. Okay, 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 all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um... Trump is horrible. You know, like, she, she just has no clue. She's an idiot. And that's why she wasn't, she's not going on the Joe Rogan experience. Could you imagine? Because look at most, I don't listen to, you know, Joe Rogan all the time. You know, I go through periods where I'll listen to it a lot. And I just kind of scan through and listen to who I want, kind of. I'm not like the type of person that listens to every episode. But generally... Each episode is like two to four hours long between that. Like, you know, whether it's a celebrity, a scientist, an MMA fighter, whatever. They're about two to four hours, give or take. You know, three and a half hours. Some are like an hour and a half. But I don't think there's one that's less than an hour. So could you imagine Kamala dipshit, horseshit Camel Toe Harris... Could you imagine her doing word salad and not answering questions for an hour, hour and a half straight? No, you can't. And neither could they. That's why she's not doing it. If she can't even like, if she can't elaborate and discuss what her platform and what her plans are, and people are like, oh, she does all the time. It's like, no, she doesn't. She goes, Oh, um, we're going to do what's, what's, what's in the law. We're going to do, we're going to, we're going to make everybody rich. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make everybody rich. Well, how are you going to do that? Through taxes and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, she, she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing or talking. And a lot of the shit that the smoke she's blowing up the butt is not, it's not, it doesn't work, you know? Hold on, I got to text my wife real quick. Um, but it's going to be horrible. And, you know, Trump, I watched the, the Trump where he did with the undertaker, which was kind of funny because it was more him interviewing the undertaker and he was like asking him questions about wrestling and stuff. So you can see he was kind of a fan, right? And Trump was, for those that don't know, he was on WWEF, whatever. And he like, he did a little bit of wrestling, nothing crazy. He was more of like, you know the manager for for a whatever and whichever team lost the manager got their head shaved i think trump would look badass with a shaved head really i don't know why he keeps that hair real quick these are the things i don't like about trump that he wears a suit does he wear a suit to bed like i think he should i mean obviously he does it when he golfs but that's about it when he golfs he's wearing a polo shirt and a pants every other time he's wearing a suit i don't know i'd kind of like to see him in in just some casual attire, but I'm kind of thinking he doesn't. I mean, the casual would be the golf, I guess, but I want to see him in some shorts and a t-shirt once, <laughs> you know, just, and then his hair, his hair drives me nuts too. Fucking shave that crap, man. I mean, there's more hair on there than you think, but the way they comb it to do whatever, instead of one comb over, it's like three. And then, yeah, his like tan orange face thing and stuff like that. But I mean, they're little stupid things. I don't care. The important thing is, he's not a pussy. He don't take no shit. 
He doesn't bend over for anybody. And he wants to do what's best for the country financially, mostly. You know, he wants to make the country successful. And then his new tax, did you hear about that? Now, it sounds good. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert on import, export, and taxing and everything. But he's, he put out, and this is pretty smart, like at the very end. So people are like, oh, shit, that sounds good. I'm going to vote. Um, they probably were going to, they had this plan from the beginning, but they didn't want to say nothing. Um, it's like, you know, pulling out Ricky Vaughn at the end of the ninth to strike out this hitter or something. Um, but did I say, in a, yeah. Um, but is getting rid of, they, I don't think they can get rid of all taxes. I just, you know, but they're going to cut down a lot of taxes like nationwide for everybody and raise the tariffs. So people that want to, you know, Japan, uh, 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 who else do we get? Japan, China, Germany, whatever. When they want to sell things that they make, they're going to have to pay a little more money for it to happen or work a deal where, where they're going to accept stuff from us. You know what I mean? Cause it's like nobody, nobody gets American made stuff, but we get from everybody. You know what I mean? I mean, not everywhere, but some things. So I don't know. It sounds kind of good, but that's just kind of like a lot of the stuff the left says, you know, what might sound good, but like, how's it going to work? We'll see. But I don't know. I'm hopeful, I guess. Being optimistic for once. I don't know. We'll see. It's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I think I think I can upload this episode and it'll just charge me a little bit. I might try it. Screw it. Because I want this to come out, man. Get out and vote. 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 If you're voting for Kamala, yeah, just stay home. But <laughs> get out and vote. Vote in person if you can. Double check your results when you vote. You want to see, you know, because there's stories of electronic devices screwing up and the votes that you voted for are not accurate. They need to just go back to the paper ballot, man. Just do the paper ballot, you know. So then that way nobody can fudge with anything. You got your not, your, you know, you fill it out, your name, your signature, and you should be able to look at it anytime. Once it goes through, you should be able to look and see the database, who you voted for. They used to, like, they hide. Oh, no, you can't say who votes for. It's like, whatever, dude. Everybody, you should be able to get on and see who everybody voted for. That person's dead. That person's not real. Hold on a second. I didn't vote for that. What? You know what I mean? You should be able to do that, I think. I mean, a lot of people back in the day didn't talk about who they voted for. And I guess that made... People, you know, like I've, I lost a friend over this because I like Trump and he doesn't. And so we're no longer friends, which, you know, I mean, it's all right now. At the time, it was like, what the fuck? But it is what it is, you know. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy. This is actually a very, again, the end of the world is coming regardless who wins. But and the downfall of America is probably coming regardless of who wins. Trump's just going to make it last a little longer. But this is, as far as elections go in this country, this is probably one of the biggest within, definitely within our lifetime, but probably within the last hundred years. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy. Um, and sadly, though, there's going to be some BS going on after the election. Whoever wins, which is going to be Trump, but there's going to be riots or there's going to be an almost civil war. I can't, I, let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out. God bless, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye. You just put yourself through another episode of The Objective Jerk. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Um, please email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, wherever you find this, follow. It all helps. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll see you next time.